you know, people who don't study frogs often think that, you know, there's just the typical frog, you know, medium-sized frog which just breeds in a pond, it's tadpoles coming out and that's its whole life cycle. But in Australia, we have not only a variety of shapes, sizes and colours, but we have a variety of different life strategies, life, very bizarre life strategies where some, some frogs don't even have a tadpole stage in Australia. They go straight to full development. Some frogs brood their young in pockets on the side of their hips in Australia. Other frogs uh, make terrestrial nests which don't even require water. And then the tadpole develops in a kind of yolk and then it turns into a frog. So in Australia we have these variety of different incredible species that, um, yeah, that are very unique to Australia. <coughs> but, um, but yeah, as you can see here, so we've got two frog species here side by side. The small one's Crinia signifera, the companies from froglet. And you know, that, that is a juvenile, but they don't get that much bigger. And then the next, the one next to it is um, Freysnets frog, Latoria Freysneti. And so that's just an example of the range of different sizes you can get. And when you look at the sizes, like every animal's morphology dictates its life history pretty much. So that small frog will only live in leaf litter, in dense leaf litter, in a kind of cryptic nature, very ground frog, and that the frog next to it travels quite far distances. So they all have their different peculiarities. But in Australia we also have, um, the reason we have all this diversity in different life strategies is because we have such a variety of habitats compared to other areas. And like if we compare to Europe, you know, they don't have as much, such a dramatic variation in habitats. Like for example, if you go to the sandstone escarpments, right on the top of the escarpment you'll have this very low heat vegetation and you'll have frogs which are only found there. But then it cuts down into the very nutrient rich layers which produce rainforests. So you'll have different frog species living down there as well. So that, that's a reason for the diversification of all the frogs in Australia. 